Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. Man only ever believes what he wants. That's true for the unbeliever. That's true for the believer as well. This man Christ Jesus, the God-man Christ Jesus, is the most polarizing man in all of human history. You will either love him or, or, or hate him. You will bless him or curse him. You will follow him or rebel against him. But everyone does something with the person of Jesus Christ. Everyone does something. No one is neutral towards Jesus. And if they say they are, they're lying. And all you have to do is press for a moment. And you'll get them quickly to either be converted and love Jesus or to admit their true hatred towards Jesus. Doug Wilson says it like this, this presuppositional idea. He says that, you know, Romans 1, all men are lying and suppressing the truth and deeds of unrighteousness. Right? So they do perceive it. They know. And then what they do is in their rebellion, they begin to suppress the truth. So, so again, the... The pattern in Romans 1 is people are not ignorant. They do know that there is a God in heaven and he demands our allegiance. And then people choose to rebel. So the issue is not intellectual. The issue is first and foremost moral. And they choose to rebel against Christ. And in their rebellion, by deeds done in unrighteousness, they suppress the truth and become ignorant. So are there ignorant people? Yes. But here's the question. Did they start that way? Did they start that way? According to Romans 1, no, they started perceiving. They came out of their mother's womb with natural revelation, natural law, as, as image bearers of the living God. They came out of the womb knowing there was a God in heaven, the creator of heaven and earth, and he is worthy of worship. He has eternal power and a divine nature. So they come out knowing, not ignorant, but knowing. And then in their rebellion, because the issue is not first and foremost intellectual, but first and foremost moral, in their rebellion, then they begin to lie and suppress the truth in deeds of unrighteousness. And they are handed over progressively by their sin and hardness of heart to ignorance. So men become ignorant. That's true. Are there a lot of people who are confused and ignorant? Yes. But the question is, did they start there or did they get there? The Bible says they got there. And how did they get there? Sin. By rebelling against God in deeds of unrighteousness. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, would you consider supporting this ministry by giving a donation of any amount? You can do so by going to our website, rightresponseministries.com. Let's be frank. Sadly, many evangelical pastors and leaders are serving as nothing more than water carriers for the political left. Just as those in the political left hate you, just like those corporations that are left-leaning hate you, these pastors and evangelical leaders hate you. I know that's a strong, a strong statement to make. I'm aware of that, but it's true. They don't care about your personal liberty. They don't care about your freedom. They want you to love your neighbor at the expense of biblical truth, even if it means bearing false witness. That's not us. We're different. We're not the only ones. I don't want to be arrogant. God has reserved a remnant for himself in this time as he has all other ages and all other places, but they are few and far between. It's called a remnant for a reason. We need your help. We want to stand up to tyranny. We want to stand up to this new left totalitarian regime. We want to defend Christians and people, the salt of the earth, who love America and who love God's word. But we can't do it without your help. If you're not prepared or able to give a financial gift, one way that you can support this ministry is by simply subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the bell so that you'll be notified as we come out with new content. You can also help us by sharing our content on all your social media platforms so that more people can hear the truth of God's word with courage and fidelity. Thanks for tuning in. God bless.